What is up, YouTube world? I'm Ashley D. Before I get started, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Also, feel free to share this brief video as well. Everything I state is allegedly not a guaranteed fact, my own personal opinion and observation. So, there hasn't been too much going on with keeping up with the lies, better known as Lyonya. It seems to be as though they have so many jokes and so many things are funny to them. When Miss Lie Anya has on her page, her Facebook as well as her Instagram, more things about her and Mr. Ed and their relationship than he has about them in promoting what they have going on. The only thing he's promoting is his podcast, his pictures, his TikToks, and every now and then a tribute to them with less words. It seems as though he's just only putting those up to make her happy but not to let everyone know that's his true love. And the people from the other side always has something to say about this side. You say that we get views off of speaking on him, and so do you. Check your views when you're not speaking on him. And matter of fact, when are you not speaking on him? You said, imagine waking up and having something on your lips. Imagine waking up and you have this man on your mind and you're obsessed with him and his brother and his family more than his exes. And I thought I would never agree or say that or hear those words coming out of my mouth. But you are obsessed, lady. It's it's a difference between keeping up with a lie and telling the truth or telling your side of the story versus waking up and having an obsession to go on their page, look at some content and post about it back to back. 90.99% of your page is based off of this man and his life but you guys not full of drama. Then you say, we all report on the same content. Okay, say that is the case. We all have our own different perspectives and our point of views, and someone might miss something. So yes, at the end of the day, we all report on the overall story. It's not our fault that a lot of your people only keep your drama on Facebook, and they haven't crossed over to YouTube where we've been at. We're just keeping up with the story. We've all been on YouTube before this happened, most of us. And a lot of us that have not been, they want to tell the truth. They want to spread the story that's going on and this false narrative that you guys are trying to create from this alleged DV victim. A lot of people have jumped on board, clearly, because they see how bad this man has been wronged and how he has not received justice or been fairly judged throughout this whole situation. Not to mention his family being antagonized and pulled into this only based off of defending and sticking up for their brother as they should have, as any decent person would. You're not her family. You're not blood related. You're not her mother. And it's for all of you over there that are beehives. You're not any kin to her. So imagine someone telling you, don't speak up in your brother's defense or his honor but yet, you're defending someone that you have nothing to do with, nor their relationship. You was not even a content creator. A lot of you. You guys went from bashing someone on your page to making a fake page to bash them. And then you're judging people that are actually content creators and putting out the information based off of them. And this is a hot topic going on right now. So clearly, the ratings and the numbers are going to be higher, just like yours are. When each of you are speaking on something different outside of your story, outside of this situation, your numbers aren't going up. Your math is not mathing. So I appreciate if you guys speak up on everyone's behalf when you say if this story is not pushed out from us nor you, it wouldn't have as many views. Let's make it make sense. Let's be fair. Now, like on you a while back, and shout out to my girl, Lottis, Light Goddess TV. She spoke on it on her channel. Check her out. She's pretty dope. But she did, a, she did a prank again. She did a prank in the beginning when they broke up. And once again, she did another prank about her being pregnant with twins. Like, everything you do at this point is always an epic fail. You're always over the top or you keep redoing things because clearly we see who the talent was. You guys can say what you want to say about 
Miss the truth, but at the end of the day, what has she produced that was brand new besides her show that's failed miserably, besides her seem like she was reading from some lines, besides her saying things in the story when the actions didn't speak louder than the words. We've seen nothing that she said she was going to do in her little TV show that probably flopped. But yet, she has time to continue to say she's the star and you guys want us to believe that. But yet, he's the one daily creating different content. This man can be in the kitchen cooking and it could turn into a content, a story, a learning, teaching. It could be a funny moment. She can't do that. She only can concentrate and focus on one thing. And then when she does do it, it's not even funny or it's just a recreation of her past life. So how is she going to move forward with her life when she keeps on living in those moments from the past? Everything she does is the same thing. You didn't even wait a year to pretend you were pregnant again to your dad. Like, what's funny about that? You're still married. You're having relations out of wedlock. I mean, you're having relations while you're married. And you would produce a child, basically, I don't know, to say out of wedlock because you're still married and you're not married to this guy that you're engaging with. So what are you as an influencer? What's funny about that? It's bad enough you got on camera and promoted this relationship while committing adultery, while around your children, while claiming to be a DV victim. But now you think it's so funny and you have so many young women looking up to you which I don't know why I would have been stopped doing it because there's nothing to look up to you for. The only thing your people can brag about is money. You're not a self-made person. You were made from your ex. Everything that you do is boring and recreated from him, probably his ideas, because your idea is not idealing. idealing. It's the same boring thing. Even so with your talent show when you had the so-called drinks on top of your chest with the straws another girl on a show already did that before and you saw that so you have no original ideas of your own your mind can't think of something and if it does it's just a quick scheme quick thing it's not a long-term goal to push and keep promoting just like your facial cream you could have turned that into a hand cream You could have turned that into some type of hair product and so on. But you don't have ideas like that to, or even put it like this, the effort to put some hard work in and dedication to create something that you can pass on to your children. Everything you do is quick, spare moment, funny to you and your other side. Because I don't see how many times you could twerk in one day and you think that's content and you do it daily, half naked, and everyone claps and stands up and think it's just the funniest thing. Are you pretending to be pregnant and prank about that twice with your children? Like, what are you teaching and telling your children? That that's okay? To not only, like, they don't know how you get pregnant. They know about all that. They're old enough to understand that. But to even go along with playing about that prank and your children knowing about that, That goes to show you your parenting skills. And it says a lot about you as a mother and you as a decent human being with morals and standards. And no one seems to look at the bigger picture, the overall perspective on just being alive. You reveal yourself and always pay attention. It's just a matter of time before the truth prevails in a person that's been covering up who they are reveal exactly who they are. Like Anya, you're always continuing to expose yourself. No one has to do anything. Any decent person with common sense would see straight through you. We saw through your DV claims. We saw through your alleged bashing campaign when he's supposed to have had someone try to hurt you. He hasn't been in jail about that. You know, it's so many other things I can name. But at the end of the day, when this is all over with, we're making you relevant. He will continue to be relevant. You will not have anything to push out. 
But Mr. Ed has promoted himself and built himself up enough with his brand and the things he's doing to put in line so he'll be okay with or without you. He'll have his own name to stand on. But yet, your study pouring into his cup. Like you said, if people focus on themselves more than they focus on building relationships with people, they'll be better off. Let that sink in. Maybe you should let that sink in. If you focused on building your brand, building something that you could pass along to your kids or some type of legacy. So out of all this confusion, out of all this all this drama, chaos that you created around them in their life, at least they can look back over years from now, as well as you, and say you've done something right that they can pass along to their children, that they can be proud and honor you and appreciate you about. But no, you're a spare moment type of mother. You're the type of mother that would put a prank on camera in front of everyone and think it's funny to have your kids play along with thinking you are pregnant while you're still married by a man that's in your home that should not be there so sudden. Let alone your kids shouldn't even have the idea of the things you're doing with this person. But that's funny to you guys and that's content and that's a bravo standing ovation. That is a, can't even get it out. That to you guys is what a content creator is. You talk about us, you say we bash her, we do this, we do that, but what creativity does she have? What does she bring to the table? Absolutely nothing. And everything she creates is either over the top or just, I don't even know what to say. I don't have words for it. Like my mind is just blown away to see that she's pretending to be pregnant and everyone thinks that's okay. And you guys give her a round of applause for that. I am Ashley D. Excuse me with my loss for words this morning. Kind of had a long night, but please leave your opinion down below what you think about this. And I'll be speaking with each and every one of you soon. Take care. Bye for now.